Predict game results. Be the best and win awesome prizes. Onivia.com. Very low damage comp. And scarily, this is the sort of comp you'd expect from Jin Air with, you know, that 19 KDA 3-0 Lulu player in GBM. And their expert... Are they going to die 4v1? Trace is only level 2. Okay, they have a couple of stacks of the wind to buy it. Goodbye, Trace. Yep. Goodbye. First blood for the Sivir and Ooh. barely gets out with the Summoner heal and the Flash. So risky, but they make Dragon threat. Right, there's a nice Condemn. Secret pops the Unbreakable, stops a little bit of that damage, and he slows up. Oh, Pilot going a bit nuts. Ooh! Dies, Sweet gets the Ignite kill. Nicely played by Jin Air. Bold, and that is a very important kill now down to the bottom side. Yes, lead is growing in top lane. And here flash we go. Bowl. Secret has no flash right now. He's going to bounce around, actually. Condemn doesn't hit. Catch there. There's the ultimate. It's coming through. And TPs from both top laners. Trace has his, does not have his equalizer, actually. Had to use it previously. So actually, it gets turned around onto impact is nearly whether we're talking about kill pressure or putting that tower. It's in the bottom lane. And here we go. There's the teleport coming through. Prey Seeker already on the backside. Nuclear is going to get low, but he's not going to die except when the equalizer comes in. Chaser locked up underneath the turret, but Secret is falling too as the chair collapses on him, sadly. Damage is going to stick on everyone except Maokai. So the base damage is there. He's going to draw the teleport, but it's quite late again. Way too late, terrible positioning. There we go, flash pulled. And guess who's in the front line? It will be Secret, and he is the first to fall here. Soar has to flash, but there is a tunnel on Burrow. Soar just locked up, tries to turn around with the Twisted Advance, now gets Wild Growth. That's not who you want a Wild Growth. And there we go, another kill for Jyn Air. They can just turn on to Baron, maybe, after they push this up. Pick up, Dragon has the position from Jin Air already. Sassin around the side, they're pinging him out though. Now they're gonna go for a little bit of a 50-50. Bane gonna get it now, there's the immediate engage. Huge equalizer onto the back line, and there is really not a whole lot that they're gonna be able to do. Sorg gets locked up in a gravity field, but there's just too much persistent damage. And this is Svenu having to back off. Chaser comes back in. They are on the run right now, but there's the Chaos Storm. Trace passes forward, but he gets a flash out of Sivir too. And Jin Air's pilot, Grabs the kill onto the Maokai. Three for none. They're relatively free to just sit in these lanes, but when they start to come to the chokes. Oh, and there you go. Condemned lands, and the TP not going to do much. Soar is there, but he's just a target for Vayne. Has to get onto Chaser, but Chaser, a tanky target that's not going to do much when he twisted advances onto it. Sweeps until walking forward, even though he's a cat. Misses his pulverize, and here comes GBM. They, here we go. Genera immediately on their trace. Do they see him? They do. They pinged him right there. Are they going to go in all in anyway? There's another flash, and Sweet gets in. So there's an equalizer splitting up the carries from the back line. Sausage has to run. Secret so low, but Pilot just tumbling forward so easily to get the kills. Only going one way towards their base with only a few members left. So getting burned down. More appropriate Rumble versus Maokai action <laughs> happening off screen. Well, he couldn't prevent any forest fires this game. No nope. Loki the Bear would be quite sad. Speaking of sad, Sassen's dead. So are Spenu's hopes, and Jin Air, they're going to win the game. That's right. Ace will lead to a Jin Air victory, 15 to 2 when it comes to kills. Trace will show up for the Nexus Explosion Party with his teleport at the tail end. So Jin Air bounced back from a mistake in the lane swap. They got caught out by the old LCS lane swap right there and made some not so great decisions surrounding it. But in the end, we see Sweet and Pilot do it work. Sweet missed out on a kill at the end of the game, sadly enough. So it doesn't end the game with the 100% kill contribution, but still a solid performance. Just a solid performance from Jinnet in general. Spenno, it was nice to see them try something. Would have preferred this earlier in the season where they could try and take information from the little advantages they're able to get and try and put together or cobble together a winning game plan.